Cigarclub.com, the first ever intelligent cigar subscription. Also, an official sponsor for Raw and Real TV. YouTube, Double R Army, what's going on? You know who it is. It's your boy Ron Real. Back with another video. Back with another banger. It is finally time. Yes, the Final Four is here. First matchup of the Final Four. I just thought about that. It's right before this recording started. We got two number four seeds going to be fighting for a spot in the championship. Hey, man, y'all hang tight. Sit back. You're not going to want to miss this one. All right, all right, all right. First matchup of the Final Four. Super excited. Hope everybody is having a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. If this is your first time tuning in, I want to say I really appreciate it. I hope you find the channel of some enjoyment or some knowledge that you don't have or whatever it may be. I, I'm glad to have you over here and uh, hope you decide to stay. Today, we'll be looking at two number four seeds. We'll have the number four seed, the Aganorsa Leaf Signature Selection, and it will be going up against the four seed, Drew Estate League of Number Nine. We'll be smoking the Bellicoso in the Aganorsa and the Toro in the Drew Estate. Really looking forward to this battle. First up, we will be doing the Aganorsa Leaf Signature Selection. This comes in at six and a fourth inches long in a 52 ring gauge. As you can see, the Bellicoso head. Nicaraguan Puro, huge fan of this one. As you see, I already took the gold foil that comes on the, on the uh, cigar off of it. Go ahead and just get straight into battle. This is a pretty big matchup and we got another big one lined up too. We got the Davidoff late hour going up against the Padron. 1926 80th anniversary. Getting like a brown sugar on that on that uh cold draw. Also been dabbling with a little bit of live streaming lately, so hopefully you guys have been able to catch some of those live streams that I've been doing. I'm gonna start implementing some live cigar reviews. One little area that's not one, to, not one to catch. But that's the good thing about long matches. So with the live cigar reviews will be nice because I know that I have some supporters that like longer videos, and so this will be able to kind of kill two birds with one stone. I'll be able to keep out some content for you guys, and then people that like to smoke and watch the reviews, they'll be able to sit and actually watch me smoke the cigar. So if that's something you're kind of into, maybe want to check that out. Even if you're not really into watching a lot of longer videos, I still always will leave in the description flavor notes and ratings and things like that, some important things. So you can just kind of tune in for as long as you want. Black pepper coming in around seven and a half. Got a good brown sugar hit. A little bit of an oak wood is coming around too. So yeah, you got you got a little bit of spiciness, a little black pepper, a little brown sugar, a little oak wood. All right, good start. We'll let this thing get heated up. I'll get through this first third, kind of come back, let you guys know about body strength, flavor, you know all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight. All right, working our way through this first third. Immediately, some uh, some pros on this. Very complex cigar to me. It's, it's a very complex uh, blend. In the beginning, you were getting a lot of black pepper, got some brown sugar, got some oak wood, just kind of got a little bit of a spiciness with a little bit of a sweetness on undertone. Well, already now, there's been a complete transition, complete shift. You're picking up now, uh, you're getting a nice earth tone. You're getting a little bit of a nice cedar, especially through that retro hill. Starting to pick up a little bit of a milk chocolate on that finish. It's, it's completely different than, when it, than what it started off. The black pepper and the spice has kind of died down and it's kind of picked up more with that earth and that cedar and that uh, milk chocolate has been very nice. 
right now I would say the body of this thing is a good medium flavors are good medium strength is a low side of medium and I would like to say too also some cons of this one right now I had to do two touch-ups one was a very minor one but then there will you'll be able to see here that uh, there was a pretty big uh, canoe that was starting to form so I had to correct that one because that was I saw that wasn't going to be able to uh, go without being corrected but other than that everything has been going good super tasty super good cigar I'm, a, I'm always a huge fan of these for their flavors and their complexity it's really nice with this one too I've mentioned it before but again there might be some people that are just now watching this for the first time or watching me for the first time this cigar has tobaccos that's aged up to seven years in it and it also features the very rare medio tiempo leaf too which offers a little bit more complexity a lot of people think that since it sits at the top of the the uh, tobacco plant that it gets more it's more strong and more robust so really really good blend so we'll get through the second third let you guys know if anything else changes i'm gonna keep enjoying this so y'all hang tight all right so we're finishing up in the second third everything's been fine since i did that last touch up when it was canoeing performance has been good draw has been fine i would say now probably medium to full on body and flavor and strength probably still right now around a textbook medium very good flavors are kind of the same um i would say the finish has gotten a little bit longer you're still getting that faint milk chocolate in the finish but i would say it's more predominantly like that that cedar wood note and then i'm only picking this up on retro hell and now too it's starting to become that 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 hickory kind of smoked hickory hickory flavor that's in that retro hill is really nice really nice complex blend here i think it's super approachable for for most people not beating me over the head as far as strength wise but no complaints on this thing at all i'm enjoying it take another draw and see what we get yeah that hickory that hickory and that earth flavor is really nice on that retro hill smoke output's really good pretty pretty good this should score well you know i have to take some points off obviously for the burn issues but everything else has been going just about how i expect this from smoking a lot of these cigars so i'll uh come back in this last third guys and let you know what we got so y'all hang tight all right in our way into this last third i've smoked enough of these where i'm pretty familiar with it last third right now the black pepper's kind of reintroduced cedar wood is there oak wood is there sometimes too it's just kind of intensified intensify with that oak and that black pepper still getting a, a little bit of a milk chocolate and kind of a little bit of a nuttiness on that on that finish too it's still nice and long still gonna sit this at around a medium to full for body and flavor and strength i'm gonna say a good good strong medium on that not not quite medium to full but a very good good medium so i'll go ahead and score this thing excellent performance minus the uh the few touch-ups i had to do definitely uh, enjoy the rest of this so I gave the flavor 18 out of 20 flavors were always very good from the first light all the way through it's been nice nice clean very easy to pick out flavors nice long finish nice clean aftertaste not a bad taste at all i gave the draw a 20 out of 20 perfect draw from start to finish i gave the burn an 18 out of 20 had to knock a few points off for the canoeing and a little small touch up i did earlier complexity i gave a 17 out of 20 night this is it's not going to be the most complex blend you'll have but it's still very nice you're getting some good transitions in there some flavor dominance just nice clean flavors and i gave the strength a 17 out of 20. that's that's one of the ones i was kind of looking at it's like it's a good strong medium probably by the time i get to this it'll be on that low side of medium to full nothing that's gonna blow the back of your head off but it's it's a it's a comfortable gradual kind of rise it's a it's a nice uh i hate to use that word strength kick but but it's, it's there it's just not really it's not gonna kill you so overall score on this agonorsa signature selection today is gonna be a 90 out of 100 excellent performance could have easily been a 92 or so had i not had any touch-up issues or any burn issues but still a very good performance so now we'll finish this up get over to this drew estate league of number nine and see if it could take down this agonorsa so y'all hang tight all right excellent performance by the agonorsa signature selection now we're going to jump into the next cigar the number four seed the drew estate liga number nine in toro as you can see six inch body 52 wrench or 52 ring gauge has a connecticut broadleaf wrapper brazilian matafina binder and it has fillers from honduras and nicaragua so we will go ahead and cut this bad boy up light it and see what it can do this one's the seams on this one are they could be tighter they're very easy to pick out they look almost loose they're, they look loose but they're not loose has a little bit of tooth going on nice double cap neat double cap on it 
not really much coming off of it not very oily but it has a it has like a dry like a, a matte finish almost to it tell you keep telling you guys the importance of having a good cutter good draw kind of like a, spi a spicy spicy wood almost kind of weird all right Say more yeah, it's kind of a more along the lines of maybe a cayenne pepper and cayenne pepper on this one got the good good earth earth flavor and a little bit that's not like super spicy but it has that cayenne kind of taste to it that's about it as you guys see the smoke production is ridiculous on these drew estates just heavy heavy smoke all right so we'll jump into this and uh let it get heated up get through this first third let you let you guys know what we got so y'all hang tight all right, so we're getting through this first third. As you guys can see, the burn line, draw, everything, the performance of the cigar has been fine. What I'm finding a problem with in it is uh, the flavors are, are not bad. That cayenne pepper didn't last too long. Maybe the first four or five draws that mellowed out, starting to get mostly like a, a earth and maybe a touch of light brown sugar. But the flavors <clears throat> aren't as intense as the first couple I've had in the tournament. Still a very good cigar, still got a lot of cigar left, so anything could happen right now, but I think right now that's the biggest gripe or the biggest problem I have with this cigar. Again, this is another situation that if I was smoking this cigar by itself, it's nothing I'm really looking at like that, but in a tournament going up against another cigar, kind of trying to have to find things and kind of nitpicking on what, make, what should make this cigar move on towards this one and vice versa. I just feel like right now at this very moment, the intensity of the flavors just aren't as uh, high as the other ones were and right as at this current point the Agonorsis flavors were a lot better But can't be mad at their performance at all still smoking like Drew Estates do so We're gonna go ahead and get through this second third see if anything changes right now I'm gonna say medium all across the board as far as body flavor and strength I'll keep on smoking let you guys know if anything changes so y'all hang tight and stay tuned All right finishing up in this second third performance on this thing is still phenomenal second third has been mostly like that nice earth flavor really really faint sweetness almost or i'm gonna say in the form of like a chocolate like a milk chocolate but it's very very faint and it's on that finish but i'm still enjoying the cigar i just wish the flavors were a little bit more intense i'm just kind of fighting fighting the cigar you know hoping and wishing that the the intensity of the flavors were more intense i think like the flavors were more intense this cigar will score really really high still thinking it's gonna be a it's gonna be a close close battle and i think honestly what's gonna keep it close is the performance of the cigar is still good but uh flavor wise it just right now it's just it's still not really keeping up with that agonorsa as far as the complexity and just flavor intensity which for me and my personal palate i prefer but this is still a, a great cigar still got a quite a bit of cigar to go so we could see how that changes i'm gonna say right now the body is a medium to full flavors are on that low side medium to full maybe upper side of medium and, and strength is still a textbook medium no no uh no real strength hit strength hit or anything like that so we're gonna keep on going through this uh league of number nine toro so we'll uh come back with this last third some numbers and see what we got so y'all hang tight all right finishing up in this last third not really much change as far as uh flavor wise or anything body i would say body is still medium to full flavors are still low side medium full upper side of medium still medium strength uh still getting like i said a lot of the same flavors a very good cigar and i like these two because i feel like this is a, a really good representation of a maduro wrapper i feel like lately a lot of maduros haven't been hitting me right you could just kind of tell just the quality of the leaf but liga nines t52s things like that they're always they always stay pretty consistent for me for the most part still a very good cigar but again looking at a competition you having to pick and choose what you think is going to move forward and uh, I'll give you guys the number breakdown. <clears throat> so for flavor, I gave it a 16 out of 20. Still good flavors, just like I was saying earlier. Intensity of it just wasn't really quite there. It wasn't smoking like the last two I had in the in the previous tournament matchups. Draw, I gave a 20 out of 20. Burn, a 20 out of 20. Both of those performed excellent, which I figured it would. Drew Estate 
cigars always usually perform very well so both of those high remarks in that regard complexity i gave a 16 out of 20. again i think the lack of intensity and then it just wasn't really a whole lot going on in this particular cigar with me smoking it today it just didn't really live up to what the other two did and then i gave the strength a, a 17 out of 20. pretty much floating in that same boat as the agonorsa today it, that upper side of medium low side of medium to full is right where we were sitting at on both cigars today so it's going to give this an overall score of an 89 out of 100 very close matchup if you look at it number wise but to be completely truthful to you the agonorsa if you were looking at it on more of a spread or if you were just to ask me without numbers being involved the agonorsa definitely was the better cigar today far more complex far more uh enjoyment from the flavors just an overall better experience today so that is why that agonorsa is going to move on to the championship matchup nothing to be ashamed of for drew estate very good showing just a little bit just just kind of died a little bit with that flavor intensity and that's ultimately what decided his fate so with that being said hey we're gonna catch y'all on this next matchup which i'm really looking forward to we got the davidoff late hour going against going up against the padron 1926 80th anniversary should be a hell of a matchup so I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to win that matchup, who's going to be in this championship, and who's going to win the first ever annual Cigar Madness tournament. With that being said, you already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We're going to catch y'all in this next Final Four matchup.